Is it going? Okay guys, so this is the doll I picked up at a Savers the other day. She was $6.99. I need to actually peel that off. She is uh, 31 inches tall and there's no markings on the back of her head or on her back or butt. Normally there's a maker's mark on vintage dolls so you could tell like what company made her, but there isn't. So she would be considered like a supermarket, like a knockoff uh, type of doll. Um, but she is very similar to the vintage ideal Patty Play Pal, Patty Play Pal dolls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try um, soaking her hair. I got to fix her hair, first of all. I need to uh, soak her hair in really hot water. And I'm going to use um, hair conditioner. So I would say you, you could use like a mild um, conditioner. I have some hippie brand that's plant-based. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But I, I need to wash her little outfit too with some wool lights. So um, let's go clean her up. All right. So her face is dirty too. Her skin just needs cleaning up. Like I'm going to use a magic eraser and a little bit of Dawn dish soap to just wipe her down, clean up any dust or dirt that's stuck on her. Um, the plastic absorbs that over time. It kind of gets stuck. So we'll clean that and then I'm going to um, fix her hair. This is the conditioner that I use. I ordered it from Target.com. It's about $15 for a bottle. Um, this stuff works really good where a little dab will do you for uh, regular hair. Um, on doll hair, it seems to work really good. And it's all plant-based. And it's, it's relatively safe. Less chemicals and stuff in it. But that's my own opinion. Um, but yeah, if you want to research yourself, you can research different hair conditioners that you could use for dolls. All right, and then you can use like a brush or a comb. Let it sit a little bit in the really hot water and then you can get an old towel and kind of towel her off and just try to work through that hair with a brush or comb. It's gonna take a long time, um, the messier the doll's hair is. And this doesn't always work, but it is worth a try if you find a doll worth saving. Okay, so let's see where we're at now with this. I did uh, brush it out and it seems like it's a little bit better. Um, I tried to brush out her bangs too. So I got her bangs to calm down a little bit. What I might do is see if I have any rollers or curlers. Not hot rollers, but you know, maybe put a curler, a curl in her hair to give it some shape, to give her bangs some shape. And then this I'm spraying down the back part. It's called Freshen Up Hair Mist. This I ordered off of the Target website. It's around $15, but it's a spray-in conditioner that um, is actually really nice. Like I use it on my own hair sometimes and I use it on the dolls and it's another plant-based thing. So I'm gonna work at that some more, comb it out some more, brush it out and just let it air dry. Okay, so I did find some little doll-sized hair rollers to give the bangs some curl and then I'm taking some uh, bobby pins and doing like little curls to maybe uh, give her hair some more wave um, to try to style it vintage like how it might have been back in the day and I might do a few more curls in the back like that just do that little um, finger curl um, whatever they called it the um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, the pin curl, that type of thing. And then just let her hair dry for a while. And later on, I could take it out and see how it did. It's already feeling softer. It's still kind of rough and, and beat up. It is an old doll. Um, so we'll see. I think it, it'll at least be looking, at least I can get it looking a little bit nicer. <laughs> and I, I got her face cleaned up pretty good. There is a little scratch on her cheek. Uh, but I cleaned up her eyes. There was dirt around her mouth and nose. 
I think I got all that cleaned up with the magic eraser. A disclaimer with the magic eraser to um, use at your own discretion or uh, use at your own risk because sometimes when using a magic eraser, it can take the paint off of certain toys. Um, in her case, that didn't happen. Her, her lips and her eyebrows and stuff are still intact. So with other toys, that might t take the paint up. It might be too harsh to use. Doll, before, before, <laughs> stay there, Dolly. So this is what she looked like before. Okay. All right, so here she is now. I was able to do like a curled hairdo here. I was able to curl her bangs. I put a little bow in her hair. Her face is all cleaned up. She is looking way cute. I did end up washing her dress. The collar still looks a little dingy though. Um, and it doesn't match the bow I put in there. So what I might do is go to the thrift store again and see if I could find a cute little kid um, dress that she could wear. And the cuter she's going to look in the pictures for eBay, I think the faster she's going to sell and the more likely, um, more likely someone would want to buy her or adopt her. The hair in the back is mostly straightened. It, she has actually, for a doll, she has really thick hair. Um, I did curl it a little bit with the rollers and the um, bobby pins. It's smoothed out more and you can actually brush it without it shedding too much. So I think Considering what she did look like before, I think she's looking a lot better now. I'm really, really, ex <clears throat> really excited about this. Everyone knows that beautiful hair makes a girl look beautiful. Beautiful Chrissy has beautiful hair that grows. This is beautiful Chrissy, the doll with beautiful hair that grows right down to her toes. Turn the knob and her hair is shorter. Press her tummy and you can make her hair grow and grow and grow right down to her toes. You'll love to brush it and brush it. She has beautiful hair. She has beautiful eyes. She has beautiful clothes. Beautiful Chrissy comes in this beautiful dress. But you can get all these other beautiful clothes for her, too, and style her hair to go with them. Beautiful Chrissy has beautiful hair. Beautiful Chrissy. She's ideal.